In this video, I will present some guidance on how to choose between biomedicine, which is Western medicine or modern medicine, and Chinese medicine, which is a more traditional form of medicine. So first, a bit of background. Um, my name is Yon Berling. I'm a Chinese medicine practitioner, but I'm also a lecturer and researcher in the field of Chinese medicine. Um, I was trained in mainly in China, and in China it's important to understand we are our own official medicines, we work in hospitals, we train in universities, and uh, during the training we learn both biomedicine and Chinese medicine, so it's 50-50 of the curriculum really. Alright, so let's jump to it. The differences are first between biomedicine and Chinese medicine, which will um, Give you more details about how to choose between them. Um, basically, biomedicine is a more recent form of medicine and um, it's also more based on experimental research, so clinical and laboratory research to test theories um, in, the, in the clinic and in, in laboratories. Um, it also relies more on examinations such as MRIs, um, ultrasound tests, electrocardiogram, etc. And um, it has an emphasis on the biology of the person, so how the cells work and um, you know levels of lymphocytes in the blood, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, there is also an emphasis on treating a disease, so we need to diagnose a specific disease and have a treatment for that disease. Um, and finally, there are relatively strict guidelines uh, that are very clear and easy to follow and um, there also are standardized treatments that are used all around the world really um, in hospitals. On the other side we have Chinese medicine which is a more ancient and traditional medicine and relies more on clinical experience of generation and generations of practitioners. Chinese medicine relies more on observation such as observing the tongue and the pulse which are more subjective in nature. There is also more emphasis on the link between biology and psychology and also between the person and his environment, which can, can be the nature and the social environment. There is an emphasis on the person instead of the disease, so we try to see the person as a whole. Um, and the treatment guidelines are usually more flexible, so they're not as clear and easy to follow as in um, Western medicine. Um, and treatments tend to be individualized, so it depends on the patient. Now we know the basic features of biomedicine and Chinese medicine, so I'll give you some factors to take into consideration when you want to choose which one you need. So first of all, if there is no diagnosis, um, you have never seen any uh, healthcare practitioner and you've never had a diagnosis for the symptoms you're experiencing, I would say go and see biomedicine first. So they will have more tools uh, to check what's going on with you and to reach a diagnosis to understand what's happening. Also, if, you, if there is a very straightforward and relatively cheap and safe treatment that exists in Western medicine, um, I would say go and follow biomedicine because there is less risks of having a mistake, an error. We said Chinese medicine is more subjective. So if there is a straightforward treatment in Western medicine, there is no need to go for Chinese medicine. Again, if you have an urgent and uh, even life-threatening condition, um, don't hesitate, go directly to see a Western medicine practitioner, go to the hospital, the emergency if needed. Uh, but this is not the time to work with Chinese medicine. Now, if you have a, a condition that cannot be diagnosed, um, you've been through the hospitals, you've done lots of examinations, and no one knows what's happening with you, well, that's a good opportunity to go to see a Chinese medicine doctor, because um, we don't need to have a diagnosis in Chinese medicine to treat condition. We can treat the person directly instead of the disease. Also, if there is no treatment available, um, it happens for some kidney diseases, for example. Well, in Chinese medicine, we still have lots of options because, again, we're not treating the disease, but we're treating the person and we can just help your health in general. Um, 
Now for chronic conditions such as diabetes and hypertension, um, it really depends. Uh, Chinese medicine can be good at early stages, so before there is a really um, like a vicious circle mechanism going on, um, it can be very useful. But if it's too late, then you might not have the choice and need to use um, biomedicine to control the situation. Um, of course, there's a possibility to use a combination of both. There's a lot of room to do that. Now, um, what happens if you have multiple conditions? Well, uh, for example, you have Parkinson's disease, but at the same time you have diabetes and you have you know, high cholesterol and this and that and that. Um, if you use only biomedicine, you, will, you may end up with having a, one drug for each condition and you may end up with 20 different drugs and some of them are used to address adverse events of other drugs. <laughs> um, in Chinese medicine, it's much more straightforward. We, we regulate the person as a whole, so you may only have one treatment for everything, which may uh, be a good approach if you have multiple conditions. In addition to these general rules, um, Western medicine tends to be quite good for cardiovascular conditions, um, for autoimmune conditions, and also, of course, for surgical procedures, surgical conditions. In Chinese medicine, uh, we tend to be good to treat uh, gynecological conditions, also digestive uh, diseases, and also dermatological diseases. Um, these are kind of our strong points in Chinese medicine. It's important to understand that these guidance are not medical advice for you, it's just um, some factors to consider when you want to make a decision, but if you don't know what to do, the best option will always to see your, your medical practitioner. I am Johan Berling, a clinician, lecturer and researcher in Chinese medicine. Please feel free to like this video if you did and subscribe to our channel for more videos on health, psychology and Chinese medicine.